Welcome to this episode of Hustle and Pro. I'm your host, Kelly Walker. We're at FC Dallas today at Toyota Stadium talking to Nolan Norris. So we're going to hear uh, a few minutes from him on his career this year, looking back at a couple memorable moments and what he's looking forward to in the future. So it was over a year ago now that you had been, you were marking Messi and picture of you with Jordi Alba and Suarez. So you, you commented a night to remember. Yeah. So years passed. Like, what do you remember from that crazy experience? No, it was, uh, it was really special. Obviously, it's you grow up watching those players. Messi, in my opinion, is, is the best to ever do it. And um, I just remember the game getting scheduled in the preseason. I didn't get to take part in the Leagues Cup game. That had happened past. So um, I got really excited when that was the chance um, for us to play them. Uh, my friend Benja was coming into town as well. And he had obviously spoken about how neat of an opportunity it was to be with Messi. So, um, yeah, I remember it was planned for me to play the second half. I didn't know if Messi and them were going to play the second half. Right. Um, but Jesus went down like the 40th minute. Yeah. And they called me, so I went in. And obviously the first couple of minutes, it's a bit surreal. You know, I go on the field and Messi picks up the ball. And it's like, yeah, this is this is a childhood dream come true. Is there um, like a moment when it's like, obviously you're out there playing against him. But at the same time, like you notice, right? You notice yeah. when these guys <laughs> touch the ball. And it's like you have to kind of stop and remember what your job is out there, right? Yeah, no, we, we went into the halftime and I was like, okay, you know, I have 45 minutes. It's, it's neat, there are a lot of people playing against those guys, but at the end of the day, I have to do my job. It's, yeah, focus. I have to do it well. And so I was just focused on the game, um, but obviously there was a time, you know, when the Scats played the ball to Messi and I, I picked it off and, uh, you know, I just look around, it's like, yeah, this is, this is a special moment. My yeah. family was, I have a bunch of little siblings and um, obviously for them to, to see their brother on the field with, with players like that is, yeah. like I said, a night to remember and uh, just really, really thankful for the opportunity. Amazing. Okay, real quick though, you said Jesus went down and you come in. So how does that shuffle around with, you guys aren't compatible positions, like you're not going in for him. I think, so does it just I'm not shift 100% the field around? sure, but I think we pushed Siki up a little bit higher than I just went a little bit deeper into the midfield. But yeah, um, yeah I just got, got in the game and took my opportunity. So it was, it was a fun night. Crazy how that can all happen probably so quick and yeah. there you are well yeah it was a fun night of, of all the times I've been watching FC Dallas games here in this stadium like that was just different it, yeah, was, it was the whole the, the week leading up to it everything the day the whole experience was memorable I loved it I can't believe it's already been a year since it's happened um, okay so fast forward to now um, so this correct me if this is wrong but this year 2024 you have um, played for you, did you do some NTSC this year? I've done a few games. Yeah, some NTSC, North Texas Soccer Club games. Obviously, FC Dallas games. U19s, was that still this calendar year? The end? Like, With I feel like... the national team? Or, yeah, yeah. Uh, this year has been the 20s, All but 20s last season year? was the 19s. Okay. Actually, yeah, it's been a, a bit of the both, 19s yeah, and 20s. Yeah, I feel like so, it was yeah. overlap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were, you, had, you were captain for U19s. And then U20s was the most recently. So that's a lot of memorable moments also, yeah, it's, right? It's weird to think all that's happened already in 24. Yeah, it's, um, I've been blessed with a lot, a lot of opportunities. Uh, I'm just really thankful from um, the club putting me in good spots. I'm thankful to the Lord. Uh, I'm living out my dream every day. Um, but yeah, it's, for me, it's, it's about taking it one day at a time. I, I'm shuffled around a lot, like you said. It's, you were the first team, second team games. I've been with the team a lot. Um, over the last couple of months. So um, it's really been exciting times. It's been fun for me. Um, I just like to play football and um, doing it professionally, but also playing for my country is a dream come true. Yeah, I saw some overlap with like, when, when you're captaining U19s, Tanner Tessman's captaining 20s. Did you have overlap with him, the academy ever here or here? No, uh, or he was, here? I mean, we were in the academy at the same time, um, but he's a few years older than me. So, I mean, I looked up to him a lot. I looked up to his team. Um, they were the 19s at the time, and uh, yeah, just following in, in those guys' footsteps is something that me and a lot of the other academy kids wanted to do. So it's been uh, it's been pretty cool. All right, so your path, you are you're from Fort Worth. Yes, ma'am. But where were you born? Uh, Fort Worth as well. You were? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah. I hear an accent. Does everybody say that? Some people tell me that. I don't know. You really don't think you have an accent? Uh, I don't know. Some people say that. Some people don't. Okay, I, I would I'm, swear that you have like a Canadian or something in your voice. So yeah, I, I, I read I'm, Fort Worth and I'm like, yeah, but where are you actually from? So all right, yeah, all both right. my parents are from Texas. Grandparents from around here as well. Yeah, so I'm that's born funny. And bred. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so then you make your pro debut at 22, uh, then NTSE and MLS. So your MLS debut, June of 2023. And at that time, you were the youngest FC, the FC Dallas player um, that season, 18 plus. Um, so you, for I feel like you joined the academy at 12. I think you signed it at 17, right? Or yeah, homegrown signing at 17. So I feel like you're very young and it was a quick path to where you are today. But like from your perspective, do you feel that way? Um, I think in, in soccer, everything can change pretty quickly. I think sometimes it can feel a little, a little bit long for me. It was just um, in Fort Worth, soccer wasn't as big. Um, FC Dallas was obviously the DA pro pathway. And when I joined the academy, my goal was just enjoy my football. And then just honestly, my goal was just make the academy team the next year and just keep getting better. Um, obviously, my dream was you see the guys sit in the seat when they're signing home runs, and that was my dream. But I always knew it, it would be a long path. So never thought too far ahead. But um, yeah, I was just taking it year by year, slowly moving up the ranks in, in each academy team with the youth national teams. Um, and then 2022 is, I think, when it really took off. Right. I, I got invited to North Texas preseason, and I just went there with a mindset of like, okay, you know, this is a year that I really need to push for a contract, and I need to do well because I don't want to go back to the academy. I right. want to stay and keep pushing. So um, I did well. Coach Pa was the coach at the time, um, gave me a lot of opportunities. Um, I took advantage of them. National team gave me opportunities as well. And uh, that year was a year I think everything moved the quickest because. Um, I went from playing in the academy in January to signing a homegrown in November. So it was, uh, that was the, the year that everything kind of exploded. But, right. That's um, what, I guess that's the part I feel like that part's been quick, right? The, yeah. the, the fast, like since you signed, but I guess five years in the academy and, that's where and the found, waiting and putting in was built. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've been, um, working with Peter for basically since you got here, right? Yeah. Since you were 12 years old, yeah. do you feel like the FC Dallas, system the way the homegrown system works and now where you are today like is this built for exactly people like you players like you who can thrive under the same coaching system for a while yeah I think uh because it's a really close club everybody's kind of pushed up um I was telling my parents uh, the other day you know it's from the coaching staff to the physios I've worked with to the strength staff I've worked with pretty much everybody in my time in the academy um it's it's a really neat thing um, Peter was the coach that brought me into the club um, and so obviously um, you know the coach that brought me into the club now being my first team coach is uh, with a special relationship I'm, I'm very appreciative he's one of the big reasons why I'm the player I am today but uh, yeah this club is very good because um, me and Tariq have we grew up we signed together Antonio as well and uh, yeah everybody everybody's pushed up and regardless of what type of job you have and I think that's a good thing you know yeah. everybody Everybody has the potential to be better on and off the field. And, uh, yeah, I think we're seeing that. Yeah, that's yeah. the point, right? Yeah. I mean, you said you see all this homegrown signing as you've been working through the academy. You were the 35th. That's pretty – that's awesome, right? Yeah. And it's crazy to think, like, how many will come after you that are looking up to you right now, right? right? Like, yeah. do you think about – I know you have a lot of siblings. Are some of them younger? And so do you feel that, the younger generation watching you already? Um, a little bit. I mean, obviously, my, my little siblings, I'm the oldest of six, and they all play, so um, my job is just be a good example for them. Yeah. But, um, yeah, sometimes I can see it, you know. Like, I remember me in the academy when there was a young homegrown just trying to make his way in the first team. Anytime he was in the hallways, you know, you look up to them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I try to, to do my job, and so the other academy kids just trying to make it can see us and uh, aspire to be there. So I think it's a, it's a good pathway. Yeah. So when they're watching you, uh, when they talk about your style on the field, so what is your like defensive strength? Um, for me, I would say anticipation and probably tackling. Mm -hmm. I um, I think I like I read the game pretty well. IQ is probably my my biggest thing, um, and then just just tackling. I'm I'm aggressive on the field. Uh, I like to like to go into duels. So that's what I would say defensively. My go tos are. So for FC Dallas for this year, this season, you've had 194 minutes and with two starts, two off the bench, um, do you know your passing percentage? Your accurate passing no, accuracy? 88, I don't. Okay. a little over 88%. And four fouls, which I feel like you've gotten more aggressive, right? As you've gotten more comfortable getting more minutes with first team, that number I feel like has 
gone up as you're as you're encountering more, like anticipating more and making more mm -hmm. tackles? Like, do you feel that as you've progressed? Oh uh, yeah, I think a little bit of that is more just be, me being comfortable in the midfield. Uh, it goes back like in the academy, I, I only played left back really, um, and then when I signed, I was starting to play center back. So me me playing midfield, I, it really only started halfway through last season. So for me, it was coming into preseason. I I mean honestly, like. I want to play football, I want to play games, um, wherever that is. So whenever I'm on the field, I, I have to make my mark and I have to, to show that I belong. Um, I, I feel like I've matured um, physically, mentally, to a sense where when I'm on the field, I can compete. And that's why, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I'm a bit over aggressive, but I think tackling and, uh, and just being involved in the game is something I've done better at. I don't mean it as an overly aggressive thing. I just think it's, it's interesting looking at your stats and obviously like the way your position, like your, I feel like your position is fluid too. You're listed yeah. as defense and midfield. Like you're, you're kind of both, right? Depending bit, on yeah. which team you're at or on at the time. And I don't know, just the makeup of what's happening out there, I guess. Yeah. So you, like you said, you floated up to midfield and, um, is that like where you're, mo where are you most comfortable when you're with the first team? at FC Dallas right now? Um, I wouldn't even say it's it's where I'm most comfortable. Um, I would just say, um, honestly, where, where I'm training leading up to the game, it has me comfortable. I, I just like to play football. Yeah. And so if I'm training midfield on the week and I'm gonna play midfield on the weekend, that's fine. I'll do the best to, to my ability. Um, same as if I'm in the, in the back line. So um, yeah, it's just using my strengths to each position and, and taking advantage of an opportunity when I get it. That's good. I think that flexibility does come back to like what we were talking about with knowing Peter, knowing you for so mm -hmm. long too. Like, I don't think a, a new player coming in like gets that much flexibility with the coach, right? Just because mm -hmm. they don't they don't know each other as well and know their strengths and weaknesses yeah, yeah. as well and trust each other as much. So I like that. All right, last thing. So um, I think you posted this, and I just want your thoughts. It's um, it's a Hebrews quote: "Faith is confidence." and what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So is that something that drives you when you are still trying to push your career along that you don't even see the future yet? And like, yeah. how do you, how do you see that quote? Yeah. Or not I mean, quote, that verse. Yeah. I think it goes back to another, another quote I've seen. It's just, everything is in God's hands and it's always been that way. Um, it's for me as, as a footballer, you know, there are definitely highs and lows. Like for me, you know, it's, we talked about my year. I've had a really blessed year and a lot of good opportunities. Um, but obviously, I, I want I want more. I want to play games. But um, it's just about just trusting trusting God's plan, taking it day by day, knowing I'm living for a bigger purpose, and uh, I'm, He's put me in a spot that I'm really grateful to be in. So faith is just just knowing that He's He's got his, the plans, and for me to work work hard and, and do my job. So um, faith is definitely something that my parents instilled in me, and uh, I've I've carried it with me. That's so, great. I love it. Well, thank you for your time thank you. on this rainy uh, training yeah. day. So yes, I know that you've already been out there in the rain. So thanks for a couple more minutes with you and good luck for the rest of your season. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it for today's episode. Be sure to subscribe so you get notifications on the next episode. We'll see you next time.